Bitter, aka Mr. Cody, coming at you once again. Um, about to head out here, um, do some things today, but I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the things that's been going on with me as far as business wise, family. You know, it's the holidays, you see the Christmas tree behind me, and there's a purpose of me putting that behind me. Um, I found out that during the holidays, one or two things happen for most people. Most people fall into the trap of shopping, spending time with friends, family, looking for deals, um, splurging money that they know they're not going to have coming back or, you know, spending too much money and then worrying about bills for the next month and the month after and then therefore being that the month after is the new year, set themselves up for a deficit in the new year. I started to fall into this and I told you a couple videos back, you can go back and check out the video. I told you guys when I was talking about the fourth quarter running, how I was separating myself from that and I was getting things done. And you've seen some of the things that I've been doing. I'm going to have a clip at the end of this video so you guys can see when I went to Charlotte and talked some business with Lady T from Teeny Enterprises who I'm partnership up with now. Um, I've also partnership up with KFit Lifestyles. Definitely check their stuff out. They're going to get their uh, organizations and papers and everything together. They're going to be coming straight and hard so y'all definitely follow that too. But what I want to say is I, I found myself following following the crowd, starting to fall into the crowd because the holidays were here. Thanksgiving just hit. So, of course, you know, all the stores were closed for the time being to like maybe 10 o'clock at night. But I found myself starting to fall into a darkness. And what I mean by this darkness was it was taking me back to where I had come from and I didn't like it. I started to find myself getting depressed. Um, I found myself beating myself up, saying, man, what did you accomplish so far? What have you done? I've done a lot. I've spoken at a and I've started new partnerships. I started a business. I got clothing, com uh, clothing lines coming out. Y'all definitely watch out for that. I got uh, a photo shoot coming up this Saturday coming, and I'm going to be broadcasting and advertising the shirts so y'all can see what they're looking like. And if you like them, you know, I'll tell you where to purchase them and everything off the website. Website is a uh, Facebook page. I've done a lot within this year, more so than I would probably say I've ever done in my life just this one year because I've gotten tired of living the way I have been living, which is paid to, paycheck to paycheck, which a lot of people can relate to. Um, having to borrow money from family and not being able to pay it back when I tell them I'm paying it back or um, having to ask people for favors. And you know, when I do something generally, I don't want to ask somebody for a favor. I don't like asking people for a return favor when I do something for them. But I've been having to cash in some of those favors, unfortunately, with some of the people I've helped out. And with that being said, guys, I'm learning now that I have to learn how to focus and get refocused. There's things that I've built in my mind, and yes, I promise you it's been built in my mind, kind of like a safety switch. And what I've done is the books I've read, the videos with Eric Thomas that I've been watching, just watched, finished watching that one before I started this recording. I've learned how to, when I get to that point, how to go back and say, okay, let me hit the emergency switch in my, in my brain and become my own self coach. And what, ha what has happened is it's, it's helped me realign a lot faster, rejuvenate my, my, my spirit, if you were to say, a lot faster. And I'm telling you, you guys, that's something that we have to learn how to do. And I'm saying we because I'm still in the process of learning. And if you ever say that you know everything, then you're a fool. But you have to learn how to build that mental coach for yourself so when you get to a certain point, you know how to bring yourself out of it. I used to not be able to do that. I used to just fall into it and call my mom, say a little prayer, talk to her, <clears throat> you know, call my sister, my little brother, talk to my wife. But then I started to feel like I was putting more of my weight on them versus being able to handle, myself, handle it myself. And plus on top of that, you know, nowadays with everything in light of the situations that's going on, you know, like Ferguson and everything, people are losing their lives left and right. People are going missing, children are going missing. So I had to learn how to make that own mental switch in my mind that I could hit at any given time, you know, aside from praying to God and asking for guidance to where if somebody in my life was to leave, let's say not even through death, let's just say, you know, we had a mutual disagreement and we just decided to part ways as friends or whatever. I had to have my own little mental switch in my mind that I can go to myself personally to bring me out of certain situations. So I've done that, you know, I clicked that switch um, uh, a few days ago because I felt myself going back. I was like, man, you know, I've been eating trash and I've been eating pretty healthy. If 
until Thanksgiving, the week of Thanksgiving, I eat nothing but garbage. You know, I be getting cut, a little more weight. Shirts like these, I'm starting to like to wear because they're starting to show form and they're fitting and I would never worn, you know, just, just ragging on myself a whole lot and really hard. So now I'm back to where I needed to be. I'm back to where I have to be. And this is before calling family, friends, talking to wife, siblings, um, children, you know, going out splurging to try to make myself feel better, but it really wasn't enough because I'd have been down about spending money that I don't need to be spending. But guys, what I'm trying to say is, Within the holidays, a lot of people go through depression phases, a lot of people go through beating up themselves phases, and then they wait till the last minute to look back at the year and say, well, what did I accomplish? And you have to have some way, some form, somehow, to bring yourself out of depression. Because I'm telling you, once it grips you, depression can take take a toll on you big time. It can make you, you know, look older than what you are. It can uh, play on your psyche, you play on your mental capacity and ability to do things and think out decisions and I believe a lot of people's decisions on buying Christmas gifts at the way they do is because they get depressed because, you know, and some of you might be like, well, nah, it's not that, well, in part it does have, I, I believe, and this is my opinion, so whatever you say, it doesn't matter, it's my opinion, but in part it does have some play because people get depressed so they believe that buying materialistic things can help them get out of their depression that they've been suffering from all year long because they want to go do this and then they don't have the, the guts to go do it or they don't feel like they got the money or the means or whatever. So without further ado, y'all, I'm going to post up a video, like I said, of the trip to Charlotte. It's going to be a small clip on there. Um, I'm also going to post a, a, a link over here, if you can see where I pointed at over here, of the Eric Thomas video I was watching today where you guys can definitely look him up. There. Eric Thomas, the hip hop preacher, the dude is bad. Um, looking forward to eventually talking with him and actually doing uh, a couple of speaking engagements with him. So, you know, I'm not crossing fingers. I'm not even praying. Well, I am praying. Excuse me. I am praying about it. But I'm not doing the crossing fingers and hoping it's luck. I'm just going to work my butt off and hope God puts my footsteps in front of his. And when we cross paths, he understands that I'm serious about this thing. I'm not just one of these people out here that's saying, hey, I want to do something. No, I'm actually doing it. So, guys, without further ado, it's the Mobile Motivator, a.k.a. Mr. Kogi, coming at you once again. Look for more stuff coming up. Like I said, check out t &E Enterprises, k -Fit Lifestyle. Like, like the Facebook page of My Mandate. It's on Facebook. You know, subscribe to the YouTube channel. More videos to come. And, guys, it's the Mobile Motivator. I'm out. What's going on, y'all? It's the Mobile Motivator, aka Mr. Colgate, coming at you once again. I'm actually down here in Charlotte. I told you some things was about to happen. It's the fourth quarter. I've been hustling and grinding and running as much as I can possibly. And you see where I'm at? Go ahead and take a shot, Mr. Cameraman. You see it, Bank of America Stadium. Prepare the stadium. I'll be doing some venues out here at QC later on. So y'all stay tuned. I got some more pictures I'm going to post up. All the events and everything else to come, y'all. So once again, Mr. Mobile Motivator, aka Mr. Colgate. <laughs> Looking forward to his new album getting ready to be released in 2015. So, Brother D, tell us what we got to look forward to with the new album. Well, you got a mixture of uh, kind of like uh, old to new, what we've been doing, upgrading, upgrading everything that we're doing to the new stuff that we're doing, and giving y'all a mixture of different skills and abilities that God has given me. You know what I'm saying? To give to you and to give everybody that's out there. And if anything, to leave a legacy with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Because without Christ, we can do nothing. But it's in Him that we live and that we move and that we have our perfect being. So at the same time, we just want to be our son that's going to be hot. You know what I mean? And some of y'all, it's like stuff is out there already since 2009. And that y'all was able to hear it and listen to it. But at the same time, you know, we're going to make it more effective, more in-depth. You know what I'm saying? And actually give y'all some of that new flavor too of 2015, which is gonna be hot. And um, we got a song called You Chose Me with my boy Blond G. You know what I'm saying? And um, it, the, the song is awesome. And um, we're gonna be doing a lot of, making a lot of moves out here in Charlotte right now, in North Carolina. And we're going to Raleigh. We're going wherever God leads us. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta, here we come. You know what I'm saying? We coming hard. You know what I mean? <laughs> Word. <laughs> Live 2015, we're getting ready to take the city by storm. TNE. So 
Hello, friends.